Hi guys, thank you for coming in for a video. So this is going to be done a little bit differently. Uh, so I opened this entire lot and then realized that I only had about four minutes of video. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. I really don't know. But um, so we aren't going to have an unboxing uh, per se, but I will show you a few of these pieces which um well i'll show you everything but um some of the pieces that we have these gorgeous earrings really beautiful they're not signed or stamped or anything uh they just essentially you know speak for themselves so we have that beautiful 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 earrings yeah and on that style, we also have this very pretty, uh, there's a box clasp on this, fold over box clasp, heart, uh, no, no rhinestones missing at all, beautiful crystals, and I've got a hair hanging here, okay. Yeah, just very pretty. I would say that this is probably about uh, 15, 16 inches long, maybe longer. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something too. Uh, so this ring came in the lot. When I opened it up, I had made a comment that, oh, that's a really pretty costume ring. I love the color, yada, yada, yada because it did not and does not feel like silver. It's very, very lightweight. It is beautiful. Later on, I realized that it is actually stamped in there and it is stamped 925. So I was quite curious. I mean, it does look like it has rhodium plating on it, non-tarnished plating. Uh, I did notice that, it is, that this um, is prong set and there is no backing on it. So it was very curious to me, but it didn't feel like silver. You know it when you see it and you know it when you feel it, right? So I had to, I had to test this because I was very curious. Indeed, it is not 925 silver. So I have heard that you can get jewelry that is stamped. Um, my issue actually often enough is I get more jewelry that is silver that's not stamped. This is the first piece that was stamped and that it is not 925. Uh, you get a lot of jewelry out of Asia as well as India. So be really careful if you are buying and Honestly, the telltale will be the price. If it's too good to be true, it is. And um, yeah, it's a very pretty ring though, but I hope nobody paid a lot. This is a gorgeous piece as well. Uh, these are beautiful crystals in here. Nothing missing. And this would just sit right at the collarbone. I mean, it would just be absolutely gorgeous. And I think this one is marked, yeah, this one's marked Claire's, who do really, really pretty costume jewelry. I'm not sure if Claire's does fine jewelry or not. I have never seen anything in fine jewelry from Claire's. Uh, this is another really, really beautiful piece. And we have these gorgeous uh, rhinestones in the Y drop with the with the, this um, faux pearl. I don't think we have a signed. No. No, but it has that rhodium finish on it, the non tarnish, and it's so pretty. I mean, that's um. You know, that's. I mean, can you imagine that with a little black dress? Or wedding jewelry beautiful absolutely good this piece is breathtaking this is mother of pearl and it is stunning 
not only for the fact that it's mother of pearl, but also the fact that of the of the color, this gorgeous, gorgeous pale pink, and it, it has a barrel clasp on it. So, yeah, that's one of my favorite pieces. It really is. This is a nice piece. This is Memcel. Um, they do a lot of brushed gold tone. And this will be, um, this is vintage. It will date uh, earlier than 1987 is when I believe the company went out of business. Uh, I think, when did they start? 67 maybe? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but they're an American company. And uh, they did go out of business in 1987. So all of their pieces will be vintage. And very, very pretty. It's in excellent condition. So obviously, and clearly they made <clears throat> really good quality costume pieces. I'm not sure, again, if they, if they ever made... Um, I think that might be backwards. If they ever made... Uh, fine jewelry or not. I'm not sure if that's not really focusing, is it? I really should use the other loop when I do this because it works a lot better. Oh, and we have this guy. Whoops. We have this guy. Isn't he gorgeous? Isn't this guy beautiful? He's, um, look at the bail on that. <laughs> gorgeous rhinestones, none missing. Beautiful. And he's on a silver tone chain. Very long. I would say that's probably about 36 inches long. He's, he is gorgeous. And then we have these beautiful art glass earrings in this royal blue. Absolutely stunning with the gold band. Very, very pretty. And I believe it's all, oh, yeah, I believe it's all glass. But those are absolutely gorgeous. I do like blue, though. These are costume. They have that, I mean, I love it, the copper, turquoise, coral combination. And that's the sort of the coloring of these, right? Yeah, beautiful. Really, really sweet. And we have a little stick pin band, and we have some very retro earrings. And we have these, these are acrylic faceted beads, uh, faux tiger's eye. And silver, little silver. The, the, anyway, very nice little drop earrings. Um, these are these are sweet. These are sort of retro as well. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. I would say those are almost like 80s. Very pretty though. Pierced earrings again. And these are pretty. Again in the blue. These are just acrylic. But very very nice. This is one of my most favorite pieces. This is absolutely stunning. I do go, I do tend to go towards the grays. It is unsigned, but the quality of this brooch is just spectacular. Um, you do have, you have rhinestones along here, but then the other is the diamond cut metal and that's on japan metal the black the blackened metal it's absolutely gorgeous and uh japan metal by the way does not come necessarily from japan anyway that's um that's absolutely beautiful and it does have the um this clasp which typically is vintage uh, they use these kinds of clasps before the 
you know, the fold over safety clasps, but I would not say that this is vintage. I would say it just, you know, appears to, um, but I, it, it, one of my favorites, absolutely one of my favorite pieces in this lot. It's just, oh, breathtaking. And we have this, this is an acrylic necklace in these sort of peach tones. And this is a vinyl. Very nice. We also have this brooch, which is really spectacular. Enamel brooch. And this is stamped. I believe this is the one that's stamped art. Yes, A-R-T. And that's, uh, again, that's an American company based in New York. Um, vintage, I'm trying to remember when they stopped making jewelry. They also made jewelry, the other name that they actually, the name they started with was, with was Mode Art, M-O-D-E dash art. And then they t changed... Yeah, they started in 1940. In 1955, they went to ART. They went to the art, ART uh, copyright. I can't remember what year they actually uh, stopped making jewelry, but uh, that's a beautiful piece. Absolutely beautiful. Not perfect. We have a little bit of wear here. There's a little bit of a chip there. Honestly, to me, I I would wear it as is. I think it gives the piece a real uh, sense of being vintage, being well loved. Um, I wouldn't, if I were keeping this and wearing it, I would do nothing to it. I mean, one could certainly paint it up, and I would do nothing. I would do it, and sometimes, yes, yeah, sometimes you can see flaws or things broken that either you know you're not going to wear or you would fix or this I wouldn't touch there's just it sort of reminds me of that beautiful old furniture you know that I mean people are actually painting furniture to look like it's been weather worn uh, but in any case I think this is absolutely beautiful really really unique piece these are really pretty too these are just um these are acrylic the painted design on it reminds me of asian art the very simplistic style very pretty though really pretty like those uh not to say that they are then we have some acrylic beads we have we actually got in a whole bunch of um, bracelets here. These are cute. These are like little fish. And this is, uh, these are glass and it says track. And there's another one in here too, somewhere that says, um, I think it says volleyball or something. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's, so we got this in, I, you know, yeah, this is, um, this does have a stamp. I think I'm going to put this, though, into the... It's Elsie. It's Liz Claiborne. Um, I'm going to put this into uh, a bead lot. I, I'm not happy with the beads. Um, they're very dull. The luster is dull on them. And... Yeah, I just don't think it it has worn very well um i wouldn't wear it so that's going to go into an art lot this is a very pretty brooch there's no signature but look at that i mean it this almost looks like satin just gorgeous in gold tone and that beautiful, um, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is an amazing piece, like, so huge, and I think this is, I believe that this is Sarah Coventry, 
No, it isn't. It's um, American Eagle. Isn't that gorgeous? And this isn't too bad. Um, certainly some wear there. I might put that into an art lot as well. I'll have to think about it. The chain is fine. Um, the chain actually is gorgeous. It's got that diamond cut again. Curb chain, beautiful. Really pretty. Have to think about what to do with that one. I'm not sure. And then we have some acrylic beads with a barrel clasp in black tone. These are, oops, I'm bringing out a whole pile of stuff here. These are acrylic. They're very, very pretty. They're sort of like a faux marble, I think. I think that they're, you know, um, and faux uh, cat eye. Very pretty. Again, we don't have a maker's mark on those either. I think this is gorgeous. I really like the colors on this. This is um, ecru. These are acrylic ecru beads with this coffee tone uh, green, the teal, and just an all-round very pretty piece. Very summery, I think. This is gorgeous. I really love the... Um, I love the pebbled... Uh, silver tone, navy blue, turquoise, lime green, all of those colors go beautiful together. Actually, turquoise and lime green is amazing together. It's an amazing combination. Again, I remember that from my uh, dress shop days. And this is and this is just, so this is a more modern Sarah Coventry and quite, quite an astounding, look at the luster on that. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, so her logo here is Sarah Cove, which is the more modern maker's mark that she has. And the, sorry, the logo is right in here. It's right along there, as you can probably possibly see. Yeah. And this is an incredible piece. If it was in turquoise and it was real and genuine, we might have a uh, squash blossom on our hands, but we don't, and it's acrylic, and it's a charming, charming Charlie. <laughs> but look at that gorgeous orange. Isn't that beautiful? And we have this here. Uh, it's unsigned. It does have that finish on it, the non-tarnished finish. Lots of beautiful rhinestones in there and an acrylic uh, pendant there. Very pretty. And this is just incredible. This is like a faux stone. Um, that's what it reminds me of anyway. And this is the, yeah, this is vintage. Uh, so this is an older Sarah Coventry piece because the logo is the SC. And that's the older, that's the older Sarah Cove logo. I can't remember the dates. Uh, Pre-1980s, I believe, though, she stopped using, it could be pre-1990s, but I think it's 80s. She stopped using the SC and she went to the Sarah Cove. But that's very, very pretty. I love gray. And that's just so pretty. Acrylic. Very nice. Look at this 
look at this, you guys. Isn't that spectacular? Enamel, beautiful acrylic beads up here, unstamped, but absolutely gorgeous. Very pretty piece. And look at what we got here. <laughs> One of my favorite little things. A gorgeous enameled dragonfly. And he's unsigned. He's beautiful. And we have this uh, sort of like a, almost like a faux leather type of cord. Anyway, just beautiful little thing. And we had some silver tone and black. Now, what are these? I have to learn my beads. Are those rondelles? I don't know. I can't remember. I know baguettes and I know, um, is it baguettes? Gosh, I think of those bagel things that I eat. I think they're called baguettes, right? <laughs> And if I'm wrong, somebody's going to be falling off their chair laughing. I have to learn my beads. I don't know my beads. My interest is always in. And we have these. Um, this is a very pretty, uh, this is a type of thing that's great for layering. It's just a, just a pretty silver tone, good shape, acrylic black, beads, small, small black beads, and just really nice. Yeah. And we have this incredible piece. Look at these seed beads. This gorgeous peach and turquoise, which is an incredible combination. Yeah, unsigned. There's no signature on that. But that is, that's an amazing piece as well. Um, then we have this really pretty little acrylic stretchy with a bow. The bow really um, sets the, this off. We had the other one in red, right? I mean, look at these two. Aren't they gorgeous? You know, the, it really, it really does. It really sets it off. I would never have thought it would have made such a difference, but it does. We have these really, um, these are acrylic. Nice beads. There's, there's a weight to these. Uh, these are not lightweight at all. And we have these silver tone spacer beads all the way through. Yeah, nice. And we have this very nice piece, which is um, acrylic again. I love the muted blue. And then we have this very pretty faceted acrylic blue crystal. Very, very nice. And I think, guys, I think that that's it. Yeah, I don't think that... Oh, I have this. And it's just a pendant here. Um, Did I show you everything? Oh, we have... Yeah, we had these. These are nice. These are, But these are very, very lightweight. They're faux pearls. Um... They are very lightweight though, but nice luster, very nice luster. And we had this white acrylic, white and gold acrylic beaded necklace. And what is this piece? Did I show this piece already? Yes, I did. Yes, okay, I showed that. All right, so I think that's it, you guys. I do believe that is it. So thank you for coming in. Please hit the thumbs up. Um, and please, uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed. Our auctions are every Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, um, and that's 8 o'clock Central, 9 Eastern. Every single Friday, we're here and we're live. So if you want to come check out one of the auctions, you're very welcome to do so. I, we also have a Facebook page, which is for members only, 
and you can certainly uh, go over there and check that out and become a member if you wish to do so, especially if you uh, are interested in attending the auctions. It's a good idea to be a member of the Facebook group. I will put the link in below. And uh, thanks again for coming out to one of these videos. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this lot. I did. I have some favorites. I think that certainly one of my favorites is this one here. Uh, the Mother of Pearl necklace for sure. And this one, I just can't. This is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. It, I mean, this, this looks like marcasite, but it isn't. But that is absolutely gorgeous. Really, really pretty. And this is a nice brooch, but this mother of pearl necklace also too is just, it's just breathtaking. It's just beautiful. Yeah. And I think that that's, I think that's it guys. And thanks again for coming in. Okay. See you later. Bye-bye.